What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Cocteau Twins. And we're back with a track from their 1982 album, Garlands. I've heard uh, a number of comments about what people um, have told me to expect with the rest of this album, that it has a very similar vibe. It's all sort of dark and mysterious and sort of, you know, sounds like a, a mystical ritual. Uh, but people did mention that past this album, they go in some different directions, and this is not the only flavor that I'll hear from them. I have also heard that the vocals, as fascinating as they've been, is actually just her getting started and warmed up, if you will. So, um, yeah, excited for what is to come, but I'm really enjoying that sort of dark and, um, you know, sort of shadowy forest kind of feel of the album. Uh, we're up to the tune Grail Overfloweth. Uh, obviously, it makes me think of the phrase cup runneth over, which is used when you have so much satisfaction, so much... Um, volume of whatever you seek, whatever luxury, whatever um, intoxicant, say, whatever you're pursuing, you have in spades, in abundance, to the point where you don't even have somewhere to put it all. Like, it's actually spilling on the floor because you're, you know, you're sort of embarrassed by how much you have. Um, so, yeah, it's that expression... Um, in the context of a grail, now obviously overfloweth is different than runneth over, but it essentially is the same concept. Uh, but then inserting the word grail instead of cup now takes the sort of vessel or the artifact which one is, you know, storing that opulence, that excess in, um, and it sort of changes the, dyna the dynamic because it becomes sort of this, you know, most sacred of chalices and, you know, does that mean that the metaphor is less about the, the luxury inside and more about the, the thing holding it? So, um, yeah, it feels like we're running in the same direction as the metaphor of cup runneth over, but with the changing of words and indeed, especially with including the word grail instead of cup, I'm not quite sure where to go with it, so let's find out. This is Cocteau Twins, Grail Overfloweth, and it's from the 1982 album Garlands.
like dark ocean ebb and flow. like a, a crowd of zombies, ghouls, and again, you know, psychedelic uh, ghouls would be very happy to hear that, and they would have given a rapturous applause. Um, but I do feel like some audiences have been like, that actually scared me more than anything. Uh, just really dark and haunting, more so than any other track on the album. And, you know, I feel like a number of tracks I've already said that about during the reaction, but that one took it to a new level. There was like this sort of screeching, banshee sort of layer, like haunting a lot of the track. Um, again, that low sort of tidal um, bass kind of pulse uh, just had me sort of like in this sort of, you know, dark ambient limbo. Uh, and again, the vocal is not really catching much. Maybe there's a time where like, oh, did I catch a word there? I'm not so sure. Um, but ultimately the atmosphere of her vocals is haunting, it's, you know, sort of hectoring you. It feels like psychologically you might be in danger, but everything's sort of warped in psychedelics. You can't quite tell what's real and what's not. So, um, I feel like they achieved kind of the atmosphere they were going for, not just on this track, but the album overall. But again, maybe crystallized as much as in any other moment uh, as with this track. So. Um, yeah, really cool. Once again, shout out to Han Solo um, sharing Cocteau material with me. And again, there's so much Cocteau Twins in the Cocteau Twins like umbrella folder. There's like 15, 16 folders in there, so, like probably more than that. So um, lots more Cocteau Twins to come. When I get to the end of this album, I will again sort of just, you know, question not only Han Solo, but um, anyone else who has an opinion. Uh, but okay, like what's the next step after this? What would be the next thing to do? Or, you know, the best thing to do next. So, um, yeah, we'll get there. Do let me know what you think of